Well, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Peace Through the Word, a daily devotional ministry of Peace in the Valley Lutheran Church, Benson, Arizona, in the United States of America. Coming to you a little bit late this morning. This is the uh, day after Christmas. Uh, today is the 26th of December, 2022. And coming to you from uh, Sun City, Oro Valley, Arizona, near Tucson in the United States of America. And we thank you all so very, very much for chiming in worldwide uh, to this piece of ministry, trusting you had a very blessed and wonderful Christmas and a very meaningful Christ-centered Christmas. Uh, we pray that that was uh, a blessing to each and every one of you. Uh, it, we had a most very blessed Christmas as well. We're, we were in Cochise County in Benson in Arizona and then uh, came up yesterday. But just a wonderful, uh, wonderful time. And uh, so my brothers and sisters, this morning uh, our devotional is going to talk to us on the subject of reading, praying, and abiding in Christ. Let me repeat that. Reading, praying, and abiding in Christ. And so I pray that that is going to inspire us, bless us, encourage us, and transform us all at the same time by the power of the Holy Spirit as we come together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So allow me to please uh, open our time uh, this morning with prayer, and uh, so allow me to pray. O God, our Maker and Redeemer, you wonderfully created us, and in the incarnation of your Son, yet more wondrously restored our human nature. Please grant that we may ever be alive in him who made himself to be like us, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, I'm going to take you through this morning the worship setting of Matins, which again simply means morning. And I pray that that is going to bless us tremendously this morning. So, O Lord, open our lips and our mouths will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver us. Make haste to help us, O Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ. Alleluia. And blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down, let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. O oh, come, let us worship him. So my brothers and sisters, that is a divine truth. Let's, let's worship our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us in reading, praying, and abiding in Christ. The passage of scripture that our devotional is going to unpack is St. Matthew chapter 1 beginning in verse 21. It says, She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophets. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Amen. So let's see how our devotional unpacks this for us this morning. St. Matthew invokes entire, entire swaths of Holy Scripture 
in the reader's imagination with the angel's message to the Virgin Mary. He invites us to return to Isaiah's prophecy, here to re-examine all that was foretold of our Lord's incarnation, his life, his death, and his resurrection from the dead. The true and living God tabernacles or abides with us, as he did with the Hebrews in the Exodus. As the evangelist reminds us of the continuity of Holy Scripture, we are also comforted and encouraged to not only be certain of God's promises contained there, but to also hold God to his word in prayer. Matthew reminds us of the promise that Jesus is Emmanuel and is always with us. Always. We live in this promise also as we attend to his word and sacraments where he has promised to be found the side of glory. And again, let me, let me assure you, the only means that, of which God deals with humanity is through word and sacrament ministry, nothing else. He doesn't use any other tools, meaning he doesn't use your opinions. He doesn't use your philosophies. He doesn't use your upbringings as to how he deals with you, as good as those things might seem and appear. The only means that he deals with humanity is just two ways, his word and his sacraments. That is it. And so if you're not making regular use of those, word and sacrament, not word or, meaning you, you discount the sacramental ministry, uh-uh, it doesn't fly that way. You may think so, but you're not God, see? <laughs> And we need to be reminded of that because we elevate ourselves so highly and we think with it that we know so much when in reality it's just the opposite. So we need to be reminded of that constantly. We're not God. He is. It's, it's his choice. And those are the tools that he chooses. Okay, and if you're not going to use those tools, you're the one that's going to be left out. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's not difficult. The thing that makes it difficult is human pride. You know, humans say, well, no, I think I, I know more than God. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. So you got to get to that point. And then you'll start really enjoying Jesus Christ and his gospel. But you got to get to that point first. Okay? So allow me to please pray. So, Heavenly Father, please help us to abide in you through prayer, the word, and the sacraments through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So I pray that will bless you and inspire you and give you genuine, real peace this morning, no matter where you're chiming in from. So, O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks be to God. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory be to the Father and Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. We, <clears throat> we praise you, O God. We acknowledge you to be the Lord. All the earth now worships you, the Father everlasting. To you all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To you cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of your glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise you. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise you. <clears throat> the noble army of martyrs praise you. The holy church throughout all the world does acknowledge you. The father of an infinite majesty, your adorable true and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. You are the king of glory, O Christ. You are the everlasting Son of the Father. When you took upon yourself to deliver man, you humbled yourself to be born of a virgin. When you had overcome the sharpness of death, you opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You sit at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that you will come to be our judge. We therefore pray you to help your servants whom you have redeemed with your precious blood. Make them to be numbered with your saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save your people and bless your heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify you and we worship your name forever and ever. 
Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us as our trust is in you. O Lord, in you have we trusted. Let us never be confounded. So, O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Brothers and sisters, taught by our Lord and trusting in his promises, we are bold to pray the prayer our Lord taught us, the Lord's Prayer, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So, O Lord, hear our prayers. Let our cries come to you. The Lord be with us and with our spirits. We continue to pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of us. Amen. Well, my brothers and sisters, let me thank you immensely for chiming in this morning, the day after Christmas, to Peace to the Word. I pray that you've been blessed and inspired. And uh, I pray that uh, you are continuing to receive the blessings of our Lord's incarnation, that it is by grace that you've been saved through faith, this not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So I pray that will bless you immensely, uh, not only today, but throughout the rest of your life. And so my brothers and sisters, beautiful day here in southern Arizona, clear skies, just wonderful temperatures, going to be a nice day. To be able to be out and enjoy the blessings of our Lord, I pray you will do that. And so the flaps and wheels have been retracted. I convey to each and every one of you tremendous blue skies. <laughs>